uh you you actually before um the open and everything that you went to the legends division uh so i i didn't if you want to you, i didn't really see much of it um i didn't really hear much of it so yeah can you can you go over like what happened and like how you did during the uh legends uh, you know competition yeah. Yeah, I mean, it, so there was no live stream this year. So that's probably why you didn't see much of it. The last couple of years, they've had like this crazy, amazing live stream. Um, like Sean Woodland, Anna Sakamoto, like they're all there broadcasting yeah. it. Um, they didn't live stream it this year. A lot of us were pretty, pretty bummed about it. I actually talked to Joe, uh, Joe, the guy that, one of the guys that runs this, uh, runs Legends about it. And we talked a lot about it, uh, about a lot of things, but it was just like a, as far as the live stream go, it was just a choice they had to make between like budgeting and trying to figure things out for next year. And just, you know, so we, you know, obviously you understand you got to pick your battles and stuff. Um, but it was definitely a little bit of a bummer that way. But, uh, I mean, legends is one of my favorite, it's probably my favorite competition, not one of, it's definitely my favorite competition I do every year. Although now they add swimming. So it's knocked it down a peg because every year before that I've gotten away with no swimming, they added swimming and it was just awful. <laughs> like, yeah awful it was the first event and i just like dug myself into a hole that i had to like i like worked my way out of it but no matter how hard i practice it just does not help yeah yeah I, i'm like two strokes and like i always i always tilt my head to like one side every yep. single time i can't i can't do the three strokes because i'll just nope. freak out and it's i'm not like, an ambi turner i can't yeah. i can't do the both i every two i am the same way but don't yeah. take advice from me because i suck at it so <laughs> Yeah. yeah. And, and I'm six, six. And like, usually I'm like trying to like, I, I actually, I haven't swam in quite a while. So it's, it's been a hot minute. Like I've been in the pool, but I've never really yeah. out and swam at all, but hey, I can't. Yeah. It's crazy. But, um, did you hear the news that they're moving the masters, um, competition down to Birmingham? Yeah. So I've, I've kind of known this was in the works for a little while because like, like that meaning like the masters were breaking off into their own thing. So, and I mm. really, I knew like legends was going to be doing it, um, which is great because like they, they actually give a shit about masters and like they understand us pretty well. Um, I didn't know where it was going to be. They just released that. So um, yeah, they just released it like what today or something because everybody's talking about it now. So yeah. 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 So, so do you know like, any, like where the location in Birmingham is at or what's mm -hmm. the, nothing? no, I just know it's the same weekend now as the teens at like Labor Day weekend and it's not not the most ideal, but I'm guessing there wasn't a lot of venues available and this was just kind of like their only option. So yeah. Yeah. So are, are the teens at Birmingham too as well? No, they're at um they're at their venue that they use for the pit teen throwdown. Okay. So I think one of the days is at their facility and then the, the next couple days um is somewhere close by is Cal I feel I heard the word Calamus. I don't think that's correct. That can't be right. Um, but it's somewhere near that because they do have to pay for a venue. So one of the one of the days is at their venue and then the other three days or however long it is, is like close by at a venue. So mm -hmm. but yeah, wherever they're at their little place and then they're going to move. So but yeah, not at the same place. So if you okay. have like an athlete that's old and young, you got to like. That's awkward. I don't I wouldn't want to be involved in that. Yeah. Try to divide and conquer. And see yeah. Who's like even like who's worthy to. Yeah. Go, go, who I like where, more. Yeah, yeah. Who yeah. pays me more? Who pays me more? Like, mm -hmm. yeah. <laughs> well, that's awesome. I, I'm not, actually it's it's Birmingham's not too far from, from where I live. So that's um, cool. So for for you, well, when for the master's uh, competition, like what was the traveling? Like how how much did it roughly cost you to actually go to the competition and, and like, you know, stay there for the couple of days? Yeah. So flights, um, I don't remember. I remember like telling all this because they asked us about this actually. Um, I got an Airbnb. So, I mean, it, it was roughly all together. I want to say it was between like three and $4,000 between like flights for me and my husband, Airbnb for the whole week. Cause we stayed a couple extra days, um, to go to like Sedona and cause it was in Arizona. So yeah. we stayed a couple extra days. So, I mean, I'm factoring that in as well, um, to go to Sedona for a couple of days, check that place out. Um, and like food and all that and all that kind of stuff. So definitely it's not a cheap adventure. Um, you know, but it's, it's the biggest thing that we do all year. So, I mean, it's, to me, it's worth it. So. Yeah. Yeah. And do you think they could have done like a, um, uh, what you, a chase Ingram, you know, kind of boot like bootleg, you know, stream that they did for like one of the competitions for the semis. Yeah. Like I never, and I mean, this is easy for me to say, cause I'm not on that end of things, but like I, I, everybody always says like, you could just have someone there like live streaming on their phone and it's not great quality, but like, I feel like they could have had something 
something uh, but again i don't know the logistics behind it i maybe if they didn't want if it wasn't as high quality as they're used to they didn't want to half-ass it you know like the stationary corner and the, the camera in the corner like they did at the games um so maybe there was just like a hey if we can't do it all out we're not going to half-ass it if we can't use our whole ass we're not going to do it so yeah. maybe yeah. that was the but yeah because like even at like semis i think it was not even just chase but it was um like brian friend and all them they were just there like live streaming it and did their own little production. So I, I, yeah. I guarantee you there's someone that would have done that for free. Yeah. I, I, in a heartbeat. I, I mean, they could use this, this platform here, StreamYard, that like, like everyone yeah. else, everyone else uses it. And just the way, I think the way that Chase did it was they used their own uh, StreamYard platform and then sent the links over to a couple of the people on their okay. phones. And then that's how they, that, and they literally were holding their phone you know on it yeah on it and, and just and just like and then going from like camera to camera or whatnot so yeah because they had like four or five different things going on like angles and stuff and like different um there's like two uh oh my god like stages yeah you know? so yeah. they had they had a lot going on so i don't know but, but to be honest it, it does it, i can imagine it costs a lot of money to get that whole production it's even i mean i know how much it is for grid so i can't even imagine i I don't know if it's similar. It's got to be, but it's a stupid amount of money. It's just, it's insane. 